Part 2. We'll add multiplayer to the functionality. And let's test it on multiplayer. So a lot of things won't work, but the animations should. And let's do it on dedicated server. So let's see. So as a client, I can look around. And I have different aim offset because I have absolute aim offset in first person but I have a 90 degree free zone on multiplayer and I cannot do blocking, attacking, anything like that but I can jump and land <laughs> okay I think the IK solver is working a bit too slow um, yeah can I sprint no I can't because I'm getting constantly reminded by the server that I can't change my own speed okay so let's make this character now uh, do some basic multiplayer functionalities and then I will tell you why you shouldn't do it like that and in the next episode we'll be setting up it the proper way around so for all this what we need is a custom event called um, add or remove tag and what it will do it will take this and it will do an add tag or remove tag and this will have an input of remove and it will also have a tag so the tag will be first and then we'll be asking if we want to remove it so on a branch we will either go this way or this way and then we do a custom um, event server modify tag and it will have same inputs so it will have tag which is a gameplay tag and it will have a remove which is bull state and we'll do exactly the same thing the only difference is that this will be a server event so a server event will be replicated to everyone so we'll do it run on server and there is no need to multicast because changing values on the server will replicate them down on all clients anyway so this will be multiplayer modify tags with this multiplayer modify tags add or remove tag we can now do add or remove tag delete this delete this do this twice and this was right so block block remove yes or Oh, okay, it doesn't work like this. Mm. Mm. And this will be attack and attack. And now simulate hit. Um, we'll just leave it because we'll be doing hitting differently in the new future. And sprint, yeah, we will change sprint. Mm, but we won't be able to change the velocity uh, so easily let's go here change change uh, attack attack okay this will be sprinting and sprinting and okay and when we are sprinting we'll be do also a custom event change speed uh, and we'll be okay we'll just do a 
let's sprint. So basically, if we sprint or we oh, we'll do it differently. A character movement, and we'll say walk speed. Set max walk speed, and we'll do a select. And the select is sprint. So if it's true, it's 480. If it's false, it's 320. Okay. And we'll do it on a server. So custom event, and it will be server sprint. Oh, by the way, did I set it as reliable? No, it has to be reliable. Uh, and this one as well. So it will be on server, reliable, and we also don't have to uh, multicast that. <laughs> because character movement component is authoritative over remote clients and the only way we, we can change values on character movement component on the server or on the owner itself and same goes for the character class itself any other changes on remote clients are it doesn't really matter and server sprint okay and we're just pushing this and here we also have to do a server modify tag and just push everything that we just did here and this as well okay uh, multiplayer sprint no better way to do it at least for now server sprint uh, oh yeah this happens sometimes if you use an event before you compile it sometimes breaks so you have to recompile and you have to re-add all the links i don't know this is only happening in the newest version okay let's go so this guy will stay in place let's go with this guy okay but he's not removing oh okay uh it's probably because i messed up this Mm. remove remove let's go into our attack remove 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 okay so this is done correctly it's got hit that doesn't matter sprint and remove hmm let's go here Then goes here. It's reliable. If true, then add this tag. If false, then remove this tag. I think it's fine. Uh, let's see again. Hmm. Okay, something is wrong. Mm. What if I skip the player part and go there directly? Let's see, maybe that will help. Wait, did I messed up connection pins on the attacks? It seems like it's working exactly the opposite as I, it should. Left mouse button, ability common. What? Uh, ok, 
Okay. Alright, it's remove. Oh, of course it is. Oh my god. Uh, uh, I am a complete moron. <sighs> I will have to cut it out that I'm so stupid that I forgot about something simple like that. Okay, let's pretend that they didn't happen. Let's leave it as was and yeah, let's test it now. Play. Let's make this guy full screen and let's jump into this guy. And he can now BAM attack. And he can block and he can shield bash. BAM 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 and um, yeah, jump. Mm. I bet I can make those animations look a bit better. I mean, cause come on. Him just moving hands is a bit silly. Sprinting. Yeah, I think it's working. Yeah, the animations trigger. <laughs> they also trigger on third person. Okay, what we can also do to make this entire animation look a lot better is move the left hand if we are in third person. So we'll go into our... Um, here. We'll go here. And we'll go here into transform modify bone. And before we do that, we'll go into a second transform bone. And this one will be transforming... No, it will be two bone IK. Two bone IK. And the IK bone will be hand L. And it effector will be in bone space. And bone space is hand L. So this is fine. Mm. And now, joint target will be also bone space, and the joint will be upper, uh, lower arm L. Okay, compile. Okay, so now, while having this two bone IK selected, we'll move the hand a little bit common sense and then we'll click this joint target location and we'll just make him chillax with this elbow a bit more maybe like here and push it a bit back okay that should work a lot better oh, you know what even push it a bit further and then this elbow okay like this okay looks great now this looks great, but it will also modify how we see everything in first person. So let's see that. Yeah, now the shield is... in different location. Oh no, that didn't work. Why is that? Oh, okay, I know why. 
we need to do one more thing because we're using virtual bones to then do our bone corrections. We need to copy bone and we need to source bone will be hand L and target bone will be virtual bone uh, left hand. Thank you. So just do the uh, just copy. Thank you. And now our left hand correction will not correct what we changed and we hold shield differently. And we can see what we can change. We can change the rotation a bit. Um, and maybe move it a bit further. Okay, yeah. So we'll go back here and we'll go into our main joint. Let's move it a bit further and let's definitely move this elbow outside. Okay, let's go back. So we manage that a bit more. Let's see how it looks like now. Uh, a bit better, definitely a better. Uh, it's still way off in the first person. So now we will be doing a small um, cheat. So we got this alpha, we do a select and we just get this FP view. So if FP view is true, the alpha is zero. If it's false, the alpha is one. So yes. Okay, let's go here and let's start. So now I have in first person exactly what I've seen before without uh, correction and uh, yeah, everything's working in first person and in third person uh, the left hand is no longer so awkward. You don't have this strange elbow action that you used to. <clears throat> so it's well trimmed down still attacking is yeah very awkward looking <coughs> but we would have to use uh, forward kinematics to make uh, this attacking look a lot better and uh, we don't have time for that right now at least uh, not on this level of uh, of demo boom shield bash okay so everything works now, if we had any system that would allow us to do something or not allow us to do something, uh, there would be no way of controlling it if we are doing tags like this. So if we had stamina or if we, for example, don't want to allow uh, attacks in certain condition or don't allow blocking in certain condition, uh, if we make any checks here we would have to make same checks here as well but uh, in this event we don't really know what's the context of this tag we don't distinguish this tag between attack or defense or something like that so um, that's why you should use abilities to drive tags and it is also a lot more reliable if you use abilities because events um, Right now, uh, to avoid lag between our input and what is happening, we are setting the tag uh, on the client first and we can modify a replicated variable on the client. But once this tag is being updated or evaluated for replication on the server, it will be replicated down on us anyway and force a change. So we are replicating, uh, so we are not replicating and changing it on the client, then changing on the server and the server is just updating the same change we just did ourselves. So let's see that again. Okay, we got two characters. You 
can directionally attack, you can hold attack. <coughs> okay, one more last thing is that when you go here and we go into a factor, we need to push it way back into the position well, you know what instead of being bone space <coughs> let's make it component space wait what uh, join target Oh, okay, a factor is bone space, that's fine. <coughs> Everything is fine. Join target is component space. But now, let's make join target zero, zero, zero. Okay, uh, let's... Oh, okay, let's find it, let's put it here and away back okay and let's test it just one on dedicated server let's see blocking shield blocking attacking okay and third person view Okay, and let's see for two clients. <coughs> okay, so now his left hand is a bit too close to the body, but it's no longer moving like crazy. It's fine, so let's just go here and just move this effector a bit outside and that should be fine okay so we got this sorted out in next part we'll be uh, changing this entire blueprint to work on abilities <laughs>